morning first of the day a video this time about getting involved right I'll do it in an autobiographical sort of way Oof. looking in the camera thing I'm almost bald now aren't I on top when I started this YouTube thing I'm sure I had hair still never mind eh? make up for it right getting involved I've got three ages to go at you with um, 15 17 and 23 you've heard a bit about me at age 23 so we'll go back to age 15 and one of these flashbulb memory type things of being in a maths class that is math uh, lesson for Americans and at that particular time Mr. Steele who took the math lessons um, seemed a decent enough bloke but I really wasn't at all interested in maths at the time I'd just given up on it I'd given up on most schooling really uh, and learning um, was taking really not much notice of much and I'd taken my watch off in class and it was the last lesson of the day if I remember rightly it would have been a Thursday but that's irrelevant detail and I was watching my watch which had these ancient things called hands that ticked round and I was watching them tick round and taking obviously no notice of the mathematics teacher teaching the mathematics and the overall thing was so evident that this was terminally and dreadfully slow going but it was such slow going it made an effect on me that made me a thinking it knocked out other thoughts and one of the thoughts was just looking at your watch slows things down and it was kind of I'm 15 at the time so I'm thinking well am I actually slowing time down and you know the thoughts that in a daydreamy sort of way come to a 15 year old and I thought one experiment came to mind which I did note on a piece of paper I was always one for noting things on bits of paper that I should or would on my way home buy an ice cream it was a would have been a lolly it would have been a, a zoom at the time which was a different flavored water yellow at the bottom orange dark um, pinky red and then a really dark red right at the top and it wasn't even an ice cream it would have been better with a real ice cream but still that's I'm sure that's what I would have used and I was going to look at my watch and eat my ice cream to see if it slowed that down because I remembered that the eating of ice cream always seemed to go snap so quickly like that and maybe I could make time stretch out and stretch out the glorious feeling of eating an ice cream so I remember I, 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 that that came to mind but the time was stretching out so much that other things came to mind that would it be just extenuating a positive or a negative because I had a maths lesson which was a negative and it was ex it was exaggerating the negativity of the maths lesson the maths lesson by me looking at the watch was becoming worse and worse because it was just going on and on and on but I was presuming that the positivity of a, an ice cream would be extended and that would be going on and on and on and on so it was a kind of experiment ish uh, this time thing slows it down but seems to extensuate the underlying whatever it is that's going on so there was that and in the thoughts came but there's the art lesson when I'm painting as I say I've always enjoyed painting an art lesson comes and goes just like that uh, it's not even so much time that's involved or I could although I could definitely say an art lesson would go quick like that where a maths lesson goes slow like that but it was more that that was a a positive quickness as well over what obviously was uh, what would it be 45 minutes or 90 minutes for a double lesson so you can have a double long 
quickness of goodness as well as a stretched out badness and uh, I will have done experiments with, uh, with ice creams and other things but that was a, a definite um, flashbulb memory in that maths lesson that started something or if not started something it, it continued with a, a, a leap other things that had been cogitating in the old Nick brain box. Right, so let's jump on till age 17 and now I'm going to work full time and I've still got the memory of all the school stuff and all this idea about time going slowly or time going quickly and I was working out um, all this uh, working stuff and how's best to do it because I'd worked out at 17 how many years I would have to do it for up until my retirement at 65 which was the standard and I won't do the math again because um, anyway it was an awful long time and when you're 17 it's multiples of your age and you think it's an awfully jolly long time so I remember this is another flashbulb memory walking down the main street going to the my store I was in a store selling things with loads of other people I remember I had my brown brown coat on and I was working out well if I'm going to do this for all these many years I think I prefer it to go like an art lesson and rather not like a maths lesson so I was working out techniques where I could make it not like a maths lesson but my, by, but like a an art lesson and the thing to do was to get involved you've got to get involved in these things and if you get involved it whooshes along uh, whether you have not time to note the boredom of it or what you don't have the boredom of it so it does whoosh but it needs to get on sleigh rails with nice whoosh to it so I did that I got involved very involved in my working day now this wasn't a please management sort of um, working this was a please Nick sort of working management was often not pleased with the way Nick did things but I got myself really involved so much so that the store was open six days a week we were obviously only paid to work five but I would often work six without the pay for the extra one because I was so involved in it I wanted to be there and doing it but again note um, often causing trouble for management but amusing myself no end and it was going quite well I really quite enjoyed those four first couple of years of working um, yeah okay let's jump on to 23 so I've been to the south of France come back tried to do this painting and decorating thing and, and was in the whole cogitating um, thing for uh, what to do with the f my future again from there now what we have here is internal and external things what I've just told you about were all the internal things for me I'll call it internal and external anyway so I've told you all the internals now the externals went something like when I was 15 classic teenager external I'm just talking life in general and what I can see of it and judge it to be the big external life thing life is rubbish standard teenager nothing to be um, shocked about normal teenager life is rubbish at 17 I had come across no reason still a teenager but an older working one no reason to believe that life wasn't r r still rubbish but I was looking around at other people the way they seemed to go about life and everything and I, I was still seeing overall it's rubbish because I was soon to learn that as I at school wanted the term to end so I could have summer holidays or weekends or whatever it was it was the same for people working that were just often just working 50 weeks so they could do this two weeks of holiday and I was thinking this is not quite right the external world is rubbish so I get to 23 and I've done I can do 
more advanced ways of um, saying the external world is rubbish, but it is still in my head. I'd seen the south of France and all that sort of th thing and done lots of things in the world, let's say, but life in general as an overall concept was still rubbish. And I'd looked at lots and lots and lots of other people, uh, people in the south of France that had lots of money, uh, older people, um, younger but very privileged people that were, you know, stars at age 20-something. And for, none of it seemed to make sense that anything could be called the external world was anything but rubbish. Still, people were working um, to retire. They didn't want to retire. They wanted to stop working, and they wanted to stop working at the weekend so they could go. Uh, let's go, we're on 23, so we're back to playing golf and sailing. And I'm thinking, well, so this working stuff really doesn't um, agree with people, and they've got to do it for an awful long time. And I'd seen the families at work, as I kind of explained in the other video, and that seemed to not go too well either. The whole thing about this external life was it was rubbish. And the main thing about it being rubbish was the oppressive feeling of having to do something. One's intrinsic freedom, should that ever exist as a reality, was mentally being um, oppressed or impinged on by having to go and do something. Little reference to Richard and his comment yesterday. But that was the whole thing. They didn't mind playing golf because they could choose to play golf or sailing because they were choosing to sail. But this working stuff, no. And a lot of things at home didn't seem to agree with them either. A lot of things didn't seem to agree with them. And I could see the people at home with most of the things they did was orientated towards a television and they were going to watch that, if in doubt, for the next 50 years. And the whole thing seemed to add up that life, nobody had quite worked out yet what to do with it. For most people, whether they admitted it or could see it or not, life externally is rubbish. But internally, and this is what happened at 23, I could see that internally, you could call it in a selfish sort of way, that word's been used in the comments and I agree with it, internally I could make my life okay by getting involved. So I'd done my getting involved in the store, I'd done my getting, not so much getting involved, uh, down in the south of France for three years, although it was a, it was a lot of play. And I'd, I'd done getting involved in the painting and decorating, but then there was the choice, did I want to get involved in the painting and decorating? In other words, doing the selfish thing, it would have kept me happy enough. But I knew that as time wore on, I would be more involved in the external world, which was intrinsically rubbish and it seemed that I could maintain my selfish world where I can control my getting involved and life going whoosh if I got away from that very established British world and went to the south of France. Now this I'll, I'll stop it there but that's the an overall picture of what everybody can do Getting involved in a selfish way can make your own life go whoosh. But it will always be in an overall global package where most everybody else and most everything else is just in the external world which is rubbish. And I'll leave it there. Yeah, bye.